God bless America, people. Golly. So, that's what I just wanted to show you. I want to show you some of these jacked up flags, man. Like, this is, uh, this is subpar. This is unacceptable. Like, look at this. What the is that? What is that? Get it right. All these men and women who died for this country deserve better. Look at this. Look at this. And look at this. Look at that. This is a Medal of Honor World War II. There you go, brother. There you go, brother. Right there. Medal of Honor. Recipient. That's a Medal of Honor recipient. Man, this pisses me off. All these jacked up flags. Look. I even come down here and tried to fix it. Tried to fix that. And it just ripped. I mean, I can't wait. Like, honestly, I cannot wait until Memorial Day. It's not happening. God. Shit pisses me off. I mean, from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, um, I mean, Nuremberg, Tarawa, Monte Cassino, Hamburger Hill, Tokyo, Schweinfurt, Busan, uh, Gulf of Tonkin, Bastogne, Baghdad. Man, the list goes on and on. Let's see. Um, Seoul, Kabul, Tet Offensive, Berlin, Pork Chop Hill. Bet y'all never heard of that one. Uh, Ploest, Kuwait, you know, the Gulf War. Oh man, the Ashu Valley, or Ashu Valley, I should say. Yeah, I got an accent. Sue me. How many have tried? Can't catch me. I'm like a rabbit. So, it's just, it's ridiculous. Look. Look at that. And if I ever catch anybody desecrating this place, you won't have to worry about the law. You will not have to worry about no law. I better never see somebody down here spray painting any graffiti. I better never see anybody down here stealing a damn flag. Because Afghanistan, all right. People, look, that's what I was talking about, Port Chop Hill. Sea of Japan, Vietnam. I mean, it's just, it's sad. It saddens me. <clears throat> because these brave men and women, great, brave heroes, heroes. There ain't no black, there ain't no white. There ain't no Asian. You know, when, uh, ah, uh, shoot. Ah, uh, let me think what it's called. Laos, Cambodia, you know, the Arvin, the, um, 
And I've talked to a lot of Vietnam vets about this. Hell, my grandfather, his command sergeant major. Matter of fact, I'll show you. <clears throat> I remember which one it is. And there's a typo in mine. My mother, she didn't know my dates. She missed she missed a year of my service, but that's all right. Should say 2001 to 2005. I've done four years and some change. Signed up for six. Got out as a specialist. This is me. Should say one. Let's see. This is my grandfather. I'm James Dow, James William Dow, Sergeant Major. He fought in World War II, Korea, Vietnam. He put in a lot more time than I did. But, um, see, wounded in action. Iraqi freedom. I was there. Operation Iraqi Freedom. Yeah, who wasn't? I ain't special. But these flags should be. These flags should not be looking jacked up like that right there. These flags should not be jacked up whatever, whatsoever. At all. Sometimes I just come down here to think, clear my head, Too much. I feel like I just got out of the Air Force DFAC in like Camp Wolverine or something. Man, steak, lobster, crab legs, like snow crab at that. But, uh, you know, I'm just one man. Hell, sometimes. Hey, 1st Cavalry Division. Oh, that's my grandfather. He was 1st Cav. Oh, my Lord. All right, I'm reaching muscle failure, and I can't end this at 7, 6, 2, so we'll end it at, uh, yeah, right here. Stay free, America. Stay red, white, and true. And blue. And always remember... Don't call me, or if you're going to call me, don't call me late for taps. That shit tears me up. And, um, Jordan, brother, you're in my thoughts and my prayers, man. I love everybody. Stay, stay true to yourself. It's not hard to do. It's to be real. And if you can't be real, then just don't be. And if you don't love this country, get the hell out of here. Because I had brothers who died for this country. I've gave all that I could for this country. And if you don't like that red, white, and blue flag flying, and you don't like to be living with, with freedom and the, the rights to pursue any type of religion, your, your freedom of speech, your freedom of choice. I've heard people say, oh, well, we're not free. We're controlled by the establishment. Well, partly, yes, I agree with that. But uh, can you get up and move anywhere in this country you want to? Yes, you can. Can you, you know, protect your loved ones, your property? So far, you can. If they uh, revise the Second Amendment because they say it's outdated, yeah, sure, it was written when they had ball and musket and flintlock and, you know, all that good stuff. God, flag! Oh! So, uh... 
Brothers, y'all are missed beyond measure. And my hat comes off to the men and women. All gave some, and some gave all. Let's not forget that, people. Because when we forget that, then that's when we lose ourselves. And if we lose ourselves, we might as well just be a third world country. So uh, without further ado, thank y'all, I'm out.